Good morning. Let us pray. Holy God, Holy Father, most holy God, most reverend God, we thank you for this morning. Bless us as we study your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Daniel chapter 3 is our reflection for today. Another very interesting story about the time that uh, the image of gold was made and King Nebuchadnezzar decided that everyone must worship. And he told the wise men to go forth in the whole of his kingdom, telling everyone about the need to pray and worship his gods and his idol. Among the men who lived then were the three young lads that we met at the beginning, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who had been completely changed because of the incidences they had faced so far. But so far they had risen to become prominent people in that community. And a time came and they were required to follow some of the guidelines that the king had given. One of the guidelines was to worship the golden image. And the young men decided that they want to stand by the word of God and what they knew. And of course, this did not please the other satraps or the other leaders that were there. And they took this as an opportunity to go before the king and place a petition before him about the young men. And of course, we know that King Nebuchadnezzar wanting to show that he was still in charge. He was still in charge. He took the three men and had them thrown in the burning furnace. And not only burning furnace, but it had to be heated seven times more. But the most interesting thing that happened at this time is that among the first people to see what was happening when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the furnace was the king himself. And we are told, and, and I would like to read my, the version that is here, that the king, verse 24, then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? And they told him, oh yes, king, you threw in three fires. But he said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed. And the fourth one looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar had to see it to understand. He had to see what God can do. Not to be told, he had to see it. My brother, my sister, sometimes we may find ourselves where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were. It could be in the home setup among your siblings, among your relatives, or even it could be in your workplace, or even in the place of worship, where you find undue condemnation. But the word of God is very clear, like in the case of this young man, that the person who shall see what God can do to men and women who wait upon him is the leader himself. And I'm amazed at what happened in this case, that Nebuchadnezzar had to see the fourth man himself. And what it goes on in verse 26 is even more interesting, that Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. He didn't need anyone to tell him he could actually know, in his conviction he was sure, that no other person could be able to lose this man who had been bound. No other person could be able to uh, make them whole and unharmed in the midst of such a hot furnace apart from the Most High God. As we walk through bound systems, feeling bound in our places of work, in our homes, in our places of worship, in our communities, feeling that we don't know what to do. My brother, my sister, the fourth man is walking with us. Praise the Lord. And he is going to be able to walk with us through such situations that even those that are around us will testify and say that we are the children of the most holy and high God. 